more buff unit. Today we're testing stuff that nobody really give a shit about, but it got buff anyway. Let's jump right against the War Guild battle against Dawn Legends from EU. And also, I saw that my guildy were getting demolished by some weird defense like this Kali and Sonia stuff. As you can see, the tower is looking really green, which means some of the defense really took them by surprise. First round, we have a Gianna, so we're gonna use Hey Gang to counter Gianna. We're gonna bring in Gianna and Ciara son, Karak. And he's going to detonate the bomb coming out from Sien and then land his own bomb if I need to. Sien's gonna be going before the Karak to land bomb and he's gonna benefit from the attack lead of the Hagen. All right, here comes the Gianna. Not really doing anything useful <laughs> as Gianna should be. And then we're going to land some Despair Stun. No Despair Stun coming off my team. Bomb, beautiful. We're going to detonate the bomb on... Who's the scariest? I'm not sure, but I do want to kill the Ciara first. So we're gonna kill Ciara. Big damage. And then there are only two targets left, which means we can land bomb and stun easier. Beautiful. And I think that should be... Oh wait, we land more bomb on a unit that we don't need to land more bomb on, which is a problem. So what do I do now? <laughs> oh! Round two, we have a speedy looking defense, but I strongly believe they are Leo traps. So they're gonna be very tanky and do massive damage to Leo. So we're gonna outspeed them instead. And we're gonna go in with Miyang and we're gonna go in with our budget Sonia, El Sharian. Even though he's on a very low damage looking build, he's gonna hit really hard. Oh! Oh shit. Okay, okay. Don't panic, don't panic. We can do this, okay? We are going to kill the buffer. We're gonna take that thing down. Okay, that's good. And now she has to hit my water unit, which is gonna take her a while. And I can ignore her for now. And I will not glance her because I have attack and speed buff. Boom. We took some attack bar down. Oh, oh, that is bad. That is bad. Uh, let's do this. And then, can I strip that? But I don't want to get stunned, so I'm going to push back this guy attack bar because of the new buff utility to El Sharon. He can push back attack bar now. Okay, okay. Sona's being stupid. I like that. Oh my god, slowly buff. Slowly buff is scary. Big damage. Big damage. Push back. Kill it. Push back. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay. It is fine. We're going to kill this. Oh! Unbelievable. The pushback is ass. Round three, we are going with a non-speed lead defense. So we have a Conrad Lucia comp once again. I'm addicted to this team, by the way. And we have Ken. So we're going to clap the Ethna. We are going to reduce the HP of Camilla. And then we're going to one-shot Yundong at the same time as well. Anyway, going straight for the Ethna. We are going to drop this unit HP. We are going for a big little spin. I don't want to skill 3 because I know he's going to heal. So there's really no point skill 3 right there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, hold up. He doesn't attack the light unit. He is smart. He is smart, smart. But you're not Byung-Chan, so I don't care about you. You are going to die very soon here because you will not kill me. Your block. Amazing. Lovely, lovely. We're going to spin, take your attack bar away. Clap you again with the bear. Clap you with the maze. Hadouken! All right, easy. Round four, I saw this team on a random YouTube video. So big shout out to that person. I forgot your name. But we are seeing a Swift Tilasha boosting the Ramagons, one-shotting the Kakarno, and we have a light tank to deal with the enemy, Guillaume. And we're just going to repeat that cycle once again after we get the cooldown. Round four, boost the Ramagons. Dude, I love these team thing. It's so cool. We're going to kill this. There's no way that's going to survive 50k. It's impossible. And then we do this. So nobody low HP. Molly will never drop my Tilasha to be low HP enough. And there's no way that Guillaume is ever going to remotely hurt my Kinky. Okay? So we're going to... Uh... <laughs> Dude, Seal Rune buff is kind of crazy. We are also showing the, the buff to Seal Rune. I mean, kind of. Not really. But it lands very often. It lands more than my despair on the kinky. The kinky is on despair seal, and I don't see any, I don't see any funny 
from, from this spare stun. I'm seeing some seal thing. All right, we'll do this. Who do I kill? I think I should kill the threat. I don't want to be stupid. And we can just wait to kill the Molly. I think the Molly shouldn't be a problem. I don't have destroy in my team though. That can be a problem. Yeah, because I was too busy putting seal set on my kinky instead of destroy. So now we don't really have any any way to destroy her HP and uh, bring it down. So I think that might be a problem. What do you guys think? Okay, that is some damage. But then Ramagon's skill doesn't crit. So, okay, that crit. All right, here we go. Can I? Okay, my Ramagon just fat. <laughs> Round 5, we are testing out the newly buffed Hua He. She is going to be on attack, crit rate, and attack. And she's going to be using the defense break coming out from Annabelle to boost my team attack bar. And then we have attack power buff to do more damage after that. Okay, we're going to touch that so that she loses the smart AI, but she didn't lose it anyway. So we're going to get defense broken. We might, we might lose, we might lose, we might lose the Leo. Okay, we're fine. But we can't... We don't get the funny thing. We're going to heal and attack buff. And then we're going to... Shit, she's, she's going to defense break Leo now. What do I do? I need to push back her attack bar. Leo is so dead, guys. Leo is so dead. <laughs> Leo, I need to kill them in this turn. I need to kill all of them in this turn. Here we go. Pew, 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 pew. Attack bar gain. Insane. I need a sleep proc or a violent proc. We got absolutely nothing. I need a violent proc. We need a violent proc. No. My unit has no speed, guys. <laughs> my unit has absolutely no speed. So this is my last turn. Okay, it's not my last turn yet. I have one more turn. Hwahi has like plus nine speed. How long can Anavo hold out for Hwahi? Anavo needs to violent proc. Oh my god, this is the biggest violent proc of the century. We have defense break on everybody. We're gonna go for the big damage. Pride will fall. They will fall. Oh, the Byeongchon is alive. He's alive. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> we good. We good. We good. Oh my god, my hair, my hair keep going crazy. This is recording, but not bad. That was pretty fun. I can't believe we lost to the Sonya thing. It was not Leo Trap. All right, here we go. First round, we have a Kakano, Byeongchon, and Evo. I love this defense because it is food to the Lucia, Conrad, and Ken once again. You can one-shot two units pretty much right off the bat without any problem whatsoever. All right, here we go. We're going to clap that Kakano. Dude, I have damage on fire. Is that thing built to counter me? No way. That... Shit. That's kind of crazy. Okay, okay. Um, I am going to do this on this guy. I'm not sure if I can kill Kakaro now. I don't think I can because he's kind of tanky. You know what? Wait, that is so tanky. Holy shit. Um, what do I do now? I don't know. Can I attack break him? Okay, attack break. Oh, it actually helped me survive. Okay, as long as he doesn't target fire, that should be okay. Oh my god. Wow. I've never hit the Kakarno that tanky. I've tried against all the Kakarno in my guild, and none of them were that tanky. Crazy. That thing survived. I even have damage on fire and artifact to be you know, sure about it. Round two, we have the Ciara, Jogun, and Theoma. So we're going to go in with the Heigang to counter Jogun. Heigang is just absolutely insane. And we're going to do the same thing against the Ciara Gianna Kong just now. Okay. Wait, how do I outspeed again? Do I have runes? Wait. Wait. Is it anti-Leo stuff? I swear, I feel like they have runes, but they don't. Um, hmm. I'm going to detonate your bomb and put more bomb. And I think we should be safe. Yeah, they've, they're very tanky. Oh my god, there's some weird attack on every unit on the enemy team. Oh my god, she is so tanky. Everything is crazy tanky, guys. Holy shit, holy shit. Wait, what do I do now? I don't know who to kill. Can I vial? Okay, okay. Can I bomb? Good bomb. All right, that thing should die. So we despair stun. Heal block. Not like matter. <laughs> no, Karak. Say goodbye to your mom before you leave. Come on now. Oh my gosh, she's still alive. She is still alive. 
this is where I make your the, the the your mama fat joke, right? Because that CR is like thick AF. Holy! Look at how many. All these pirates are so funny now. Round three, we have another Clara Savannah team. So we're gonna risk it all with Leo team once again, but this time we're gonna be even riskier with Carlos and the attack setup and defense break for Carlos. That's gonna be Huahi. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're all like maybe anti Leo as well. They should be tanky and be built, built like a, a brick wall with crazy damage. Okay, no stun, very important. Please, please, please. Oh no! Okay, okay, we didn't lose attack bar. That's very important because we can cleave all of them. We can't cleave shit. All right, we're gonna do that. We're going to kill that. We're going to kill that. Because that thing has damage reduction, so I don't think I can kill the uh, the, the the Tessarian. Can I crit? Oh my god. <laughs> wow, why he saved the day with the attack buff, baby. Round four, we have the AoE Strip Provoke and AoE Silence. We're going to deal with that with Veramors on Triple Nemesis. Hopefully, it's going to allow me to cleanse all the funny debuff on the enemy team. And we're going to go in with a Fire Garrow with the AoE Dot and Stun and more AoE Dot damage from Sam. Here we go. Provoke. Strip Stun. Damage. Nothing really happened. I will lay some dots. It's better to, if you have someone to put dots before he take a turn, so the stun is gonna be more consistent. But then we stun all of them anyway. That is kinda that's kinda crazy. Okay. Here comes the funny debuff that I prepared my team for, so we don't have a problem against that. Some nice damage on the enemy. Some attack break on the beast rider as well. Goodbye, beast riders. Goodbye, beast riders. The defense break from him is very good for the full-up damage, unlike the stun from the Rika. So it's kind of like a trade-off. And he's also not as tanky, but he's pretty cool with the stun and the defense break. Round five, we have the speed lead and no defense break. This is a very weird defense, but we're going to go in with a swift brigade. We're going to strip them with Siri, and then we're going to push down the attack power with Poseidon. And then we bomb them. We do it all over again every single time. Okay, we're going in with a boost. We're going to strip them. And this guy will not glance, so I don't have to worry about the enemy Molly or Guillaume. So we're going to land some good damage. And now we bomb. Beautiful bomb. I kind of don't want to touch the other guy with multi-hit, but fuck it. Not a good idea for sure. <laughs> Definitely not a good idea. So put on the silence so that even if the Molly Violent Prosh, she can't cleanse. And nobody's dying just yet. I don't want to hit the Siri, but then I don't think the bomb is going to kill her. Right? Okay, nothing is really happening the way I wanted to. So I'm just gonna do damage over here to make sure that the bomb would kill her. We're going to push up the attack bar. We're going to push down their attack bar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he didn't he didn't get the pushback. Big big AoE. Big AoE once again. Uh, I mean, we're probably going to win, you know? Because we're gonna put some bomb of glancing it really counter frigate, huh? <laughs> because if you glance, you don't land any debuff. So, glancing it really worked out well against Frigate. But I think we should be okay because we can do this once again. We can push the attack button down once again. And the fish is gonna be like heavily overcooked at this point. Put some bomb over there just for the sake of bombing. And that is GG. Not bad. We only got one loss today. Trying our funny, funny team. Very enjoyable working your battle. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. My hair is a disaster for sure, but not to this working battle.